In the previous video, we looked at the first three properties of liquids. The fourth property of liquids is viscosity. Viscosity makes a liquid resist the tendency to flow. As an example, water is more dense and less viscous, but oil is less dense and more viscous. That means oil has a higher viscosity than water, so it has a harder time flowing than water. As temperature increases, the viscosity of a liquid decreases. As an example, as you heat oil, it becomes less viscous, meaning it flows much easier. The last property of liquids we are going to discuss is capillary action. Capillary action is due to both the adhesion of the liquid molecules with the tube and the surface tension of the liquid. In a tube, adhesion of water to the glass sides occurs, pulling the liquid column up until there is sufficient mass of liquid for gravitational forces to overcome the intermolecular forces. As we can see in this picture, a narrow tube will draw liquid higher than a wide one. Again, for capillary action, the adhesion between the water and the glass is greater than the cohesion between water molecules, so the water is higher along the sides of the tube. With mercury, the cohesion between mercury molecules is greater than between the mercury and the glass, the adhesion, so the mercury is higher in the center where the cohesive forces are at work. The crescent-shaped surface of a liquid tube is called a meniscus. An example of capillary action would be the wick in an old lamp keeping the flame burning or water moving up a plant from its root system. Again, if you put a straw in water, capillary action causes the water to be higher in the straw or tube than in the surrounding area. This concludes our discussion of the properties of liquids. In the next video, we will look at the properties of gases.